after visiting Megan in San Antonio, and I really miss her. I've fallen pretty hard for her. I can see myself moving to Texas for her. Oh my God, John! Okay, John. You deserve popcorn, John. That's she eat. I hope he has flowers for her. Don't be in Vegas without flowers. Don't be a culty. Look at his face, baby. You look Hold on, you look John. Happen. Stop the car before you take your seatbelt off. Oh, he forgot. No flower. Disappoint. Oh, he at least he give her a kiss. Hmm. Oh my God! Look at him. The soft side of John is really coming out here. He just I love it. In love. Let's do a popcorn cheers for John. Cheers. cheers. It's a big deal for me to go see John in Vegas because I've never left the state. I've never been on an airplane. I've never been away from my daughter. I cannot believe this. She's never been on an airplane? There's people that hasn't been on an airplane in America here? You know, my first flight that I remember was at two years old flying from Newark Airport to Charleston, West Virginia with my mom. I could even tell you where we were sitting on the airplane. Then you too? I remember I was two and a half years old. It was a 727. You're way too smart to be a fat ass penguin. <laughs> My goal out of this trip is definitely to see where his head is at, because if John cannot commit to moving to San Antonio after this trip, then we are over. Look, don't. At least she's honest. How like it is. It got hot, it got hot. Maybe she can move to Vegas, right? How people live in Vegas, it's like a party place. I know. It's places where you, if you get together, you're going to get divorced, feels like. Yeah. And you know. This is your man cave? <laughs> this is my man cave. Why uh, have a shoe box on the bat? Yeah, uh, no. John, I need you to do better. You got a suitcase? Is it, you still have... Oh. oh, look, it's everything's nice and folded. <laughs> you still have clothes. You haven't, like, unpacked anything? That's my dresser. <laughs> it's funny. Such a bachelor, though. She's like, this is not happening. First arrived to Jovi as a part of there was a broken table in the middle of the room, so... No. <laughs> we didn't even wash their hands. We didn't even change their clothes. Just like laying from the airport like that. Didn't yeah. go pee. Shoes on the bed. Yeah. Gross. Mm. So we're going to meet your brothers? Well, we're going to meet Pat and Thais because Matt and Carlos are out of town. For me, it's important for her to meet my family before I make any big life decisions because I want my family to like her. I just want to see how Patrick is going to act because Patrick, sometimes he can be like a little Debbie Downer. Yeah, like, let him be happy, like, you let know? Let him be happy. You just want to shake him. Well, yeah. like, what the hell is wrong with you? Just, yeah. You look like the air traffic controller. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This is Megan. Hi. Hey, Megan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Megan. Oh, Patrick and Thais and the baby. The baby's there. Elise. We finally get to meet Megan today. And we're excited to figure out what the hell's going on. Everything John's been telling me, it doesn't seem like this relationship makes any sense. Lily, why? Because they picture him as the one drinking at 5 in the morning. She has a child, and they live in different states, so. I know for sure their whole relationship's just based off physical attraction for now. I mean, all they've done is met each other a few times, and, and so it has to be physical. So what? She's so pretty, Megan. Yeah, she is. Well, that's how it starts. All of the things start with physical. What is uh, your relationship was based on when you just met Thais, please? Uh-huh. How old is your daughter? My daughter's four. Four? Four oh. years old, yeah. So I miss her being so tiny. You think John, I mean, you could see John being a good father figure? Well, that's a rough one straight away. Well, they, they, they're doubting him so hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have very valid concerns because it is true. They've only met, hooked up in hotels. It's been great sex. When you start getting into routine of life, things change. Yes. But still, you're going to have to be there. Like, you're going to have to be that father figure anyway. No, we grew up We grew up with a stepdad. Like, and that's why I told him. And, and it's, it's kind of scary. I ain't going to lie, but I can do it. All right. He owns it. He owns it. They both looked at like, the chopper and been like, like uh, <laughs> you don't know how much work is this is. <laughs> We're on like running on 30 minutes of sleep here. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Why are y'all laughing? I was, Why? I was are y'all laughing? laughing for any specific reason? I mean, John's not really the, the responsible type. John's like a tile. You have two tiles for sure. <gasps> wow. Tice, that wasn't That's nice. a whole bus that just 
was he was thrown under. <gasps> oh, oh, Thais. Thais coming at him hard. I like that. Thais, my girl, go grill him. <laughs> well, on top of that too, like you're gonna have to be something that you said you don't want to be, which is a dad. They're coming at him pretty hard. They can't just get to know this girl first. Uh oh. This could uh -oh. be a deal breaker right uh -oh. here. Uh oh. Oh, baby, she doesn't see John in the same way that his family is seeing him. I think that John's got this. You got this, John. But it's really nice watching Patrick and Thais get a little bit of revenge on him <laughs> for how he treated them. <laughs> Do you want to have more kids? Like, I've always said, like, I wanted to have, like, two, like, one girl and one boy. Well, John, we John definitely it. doesn't want one. Oh, mm. man, that's rough. Maybe this woman is the person that has given him the strength to be a better exactly. person. Exactly. That's a lot. There's a lot to take in. I'm still taking in everything right now. They're saying that John's like another child. Like, I mean, I hope to God that like he would never put me in that position. I don't need a man child. Like, I have my daughter. It's not a man child. He just, he's a single guy that no. enjoys life. But I understand Patrick. He's coming back with vendetta. It <laughs> just destroyed my relationship just like that. Can we go forward and not be on the same page? Do I allow, you know, this relationship to continue in general? I'm still taking it in. I, I mean, that's pretty bad to do that. I mean, he should bring up these maybe in private, not in front of the girl. What's the problem? You just say what it is. Payback. Yeah. I think this dinner went just as I expected. There's gonna yes, be tough questions. Because when first East and uh, Patrick get together, John give him a lot of crap. I mean, you think about when Andre and Elizabeth met and had to meet the entire family with Chuck and Charlie and oh my God. Becky and Jen, and it was horrible what they put in there. And when you first meet your daughter, she would throw the water on your face. Uh, that was one of those I try to forget, but you know. I will remind you just for fun. <laughs> <laughs>